Hey my friends, it is fantastic to be with you today. So I would like everybody to go grab their Bibles, go to Matthew 27 verses 57 through 66. You can read those right now. So yesterday in our, our story, we had Jesus dying. It was Good Friday, Jesus died. It's probably the most sad moment in our entire story. So today we have to find out what's going to happen going forward. So our story starts with a wealthy man named Joseph of Arimathea. Now Joseph goes to the chief priests and he says, I would like to take the body of Jesus and put it into a tomb. The chief priests think about that and say, okay, that seems reasonable. So Joseph takes Jesus' body, he wraps it in fine clothes, cloths, and he takes Jesus' body and he puts it into a tomb. A tomb back then was, for those who were wealthy, like Joseph of Arimathea, was a cave. So they put Jesus' body into a cave. And then, to keep anything from disturbing the body, they rolled a giant stone, a huge boulder, in front of the opening of the cave. So that's what they did with Jesus' body. Well, the chief priests were sitting around and thinking to themselves, they said, wait a minute, while Jesus was preaching, we remember him saying that on the third day, he would rise again and live again. And they said, you know, we do not want his disciples to go take his body away and say that he has risen. So the chief priest went to the Roman who was in charge and said, please, could you put some soldiers out in front of the tomb so that absolutely no one can mess with the body of Jesus? And the Roman leader says, I don't see a problem with that. So that's what happens. And that sets the stage for tomorrow, for Easter morning. Please come back and join me. We will talk about Jesus rising from the dead on Easter morning. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you then. Bye.